This would be your room, honey. What do you think? It's perfect. <laughs> would it be all right if I open the closet? Oh, of course. Go right ahead. Oops. <gasps> oh, your daughter has such beautiful clothes. Expensive clothes. Ooh. Becky, maybe we should get you something like this. Or maybe she'd like to try it on while she's here. Although I don't think red is your best color. Kelly, what are you doing home? Gee, I thought I still lived here. This is our house, isn't it, Mom? Yes, but maybe not much longer. Well, it is a beautiful house. Thank you. And we're selling it real cheap. So why don't you just take it? Take everything while you're here. Need some new jeans, new shoes, new underwear? Why don't you just help yourself to my closet? Uh, Kelly. What, you like this sweater? Take it, it's yours. Okay, that's enough. I've got some new CDs. A new life? Why don't you take my boyfriend? We're not getting along that well anyway. I'm really sorry. Honey, I come on. Kelly, I want you to apologize to Mrs. Brower and her daughter right now. Did I say something wrong? Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Did they make an offer? No, they didn't. And I seriously doubt we'll be seeing them in the near future. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be. Whatever possessed you to be so awful to those people? I don't know. I mean, I, I walked in and I saw total strangers going through my closet. Kelly, what am I supposed to do? Tell every prospective buyer that your room is off limits? How about we start by telling your broker not to smoke in the house? How about we start by changing your attitude right now? Or maybe we should just take the house off the market and declare bankruptcy. How about if I never say anything about anything ever again? That is exactly what I am talking about. Practically every conversation we have had for the last month has ended in some kind of snide remark. And I'm sick of it. So am I. My life is a total mess and nobody understands. Honey, I know you're going through a rough patch with the divorce and the move. We all are. But I hate to see you so moody all the time. You're not a kid anymore. You're going to be 18 years old tomorrow. You got to try and cope with some of these things. Don't remind me. Is that what's bothering you? I don't know. Maybe. This too shall pass. I hate open houses. <laughs> 